Buildings are being built, but the papers say there's a housing crisis. What does that mean? People are racing to get on the property ladder, but with over 1 million families on council house waiting lists and 90,000 homeless households, the housing crisis looks different to everyone. So what's your housing crisis? Probably just lack of it. They're building all of these affordable housing that no one can afford. What's your housing crisis? Rent. The rent, it's just, it's just literally too high. Mm -hmm. And we, we've got really good jobs. You have to get lucky with the landlord. Landlords are making a lot of money these days, aren't they? My universal credit claim was like my rent. <laughs> and then so is like three pounds to eat for like a month. My rent is twice the amount that a mortgage would be on the same property. Um, so it's kind of like they say, how can we be sure that you could not fail on that mortgage? But actually I'm paying rent that's twice the amount. So clearly I can afford it. It's just only the wealthy that can live here. What's your housing situation at the moment? Right now, I live with my mum. Where do you live at the moment? Bottom of this road. Okay, are you happy with where you live? I'm back at my mum's house because I split with my girlfriend. Oh, do you live around here? Yes, I do, I'm local. And do you own your own home? Yes. So do you feel like you're in a fortunate position? Yes, massively, gosh, I feel very lucky. So you own your own home? Mm. Well, the bank does. Did it take a while to save for that? It did, yes. Yeah. And I've got help from my family as well. It's pretty expensive and I know a lot of people don't have that kind of security. We're the lucky ones that bought here 20 years ago. I could never afford to live here now. My mate's mum bought a pub for 20, 20 grand and about four years ago they sold it for four million pounds. Do you hope to own your own home one day? Yes. Do you think that's a possibility? No, <laughs> because I don't know anyone in my generation, unless like you're looking to become like an investment banker, um, that's going to be able to own their own home. So what's your dream house? A log cabin in the woods of Sweden. Yeah. Trees, moose, deer. I've never met a moose. Well, I'm a mechanic, so it'd be a flat above a garage. Right, okay, so you could get there easily. Basically, yeah, just come down the stairs. A big mansion with a swimming pool right. and a tennis court. Oh, are you a keen tennis player? No. A place to live is a place to live. You're not fast. I'd sleep under the stairs if it keeps the wife happy. How would you feel if you never owned your own home? Oh, I feel bad. You feel bad? Yeah, I feel bad. Having, having your own house is just like something. It just feels great to have something that's yours, you know? Do you think you'll ever be able to buy somewhere in the UK? This salary and not enough overtime. <laughs> Maybe after 30, 40 years. Clearly there's a shortage of affordable homes, but is the help on offer really not helping at all? There's very poor legislation around um, protecting renters, so you can be living somewhere where there's mould or, you know, there's a leaking tap and it's not fixed um, in a timely manner and you're basically powerless because in your contract it says if you fail to pay the rent, um, they can obviously evict you. Remember when I lived in um, Cordor Road, I had ants coming out the, in, into my fridge. Ants in your pants, yeah. And then you ring up the landlord and he's like, okay, get rid of the ants then. I'm like, burn your pants. Yeah, nice burn one. Yeah, burn the pants. Mine would be damp issues, <laughs> which I think is everyone's. Are you in council property or in the landlord? Council, yeah. I mean, look, if there's mould, you just wipe the mould down, don't you? I was a young mum and I was in, the, in a council estate when I was 20. And I had to choose between bringing up my shopping, my, my daughter or the prop. And whatever gets left below just to get stolen. <laughs> I've had a nice landlord, but to be honest, he was chatting me up all the time. Right, okay, you know I mean? so it's ulterior motives. Yes. The place that I'm living in isn't like the best. <laughs> in what way? Like the downstairs where it just it does not work. <laughs> Would you rather have a toilet or a shower? Toilet. Toilet, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say I'm a bit French. <laughs> so you could do both? Yeah, <laughs> do both. Why have I got that choice? Do you think housing is a financial asset or a fundamental right? I mean, oh God, I it mean... It used to be a fundamental right, but it's not now. It's a fundamental right to have a secure space to have, to, to, to live and 
and to feel safe. To live somewhere affordably, I don't think is too much to ask. Why are we in a housing crisis? I don't want to say it, but it's greed, isn't it? Everyone just wants yeah. to, people want to make more money than they, than they always need. For instance, landlords who are chasing people for £350 that they've not received. £350 to a landlord who owns multiple properties is nothing, but to people like the working class, like me, it's, it's a lot. If I know that I can get away with certain things, then it's about my own values. And don't we have a government to kind of like look after those values? And who do you think is to blame? I would say that international buyers, I would say, coming in, buying houses at cash value, taking it off the market very quickly so that people locally don't have the ability to buy their own place. That's probably one of the major factors. There needs to be road regulation on who can buy. And I mean, what good is it to this country if hundreds of billions of pounds is owned by foreign investors who are based in Russia or in Dubai? They don't spend the money in this country. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like the reverse of colonialism and young people pay the price. Um, I'd say it's more oversaturation of the market and too many homes owned by too few freeholders. Who do you think is to blame for the housing crisis? Uh, I would say the government, isn't it? They make the law. You've got to blame government, haven't you? I would say the Conservatives, but we do, we disagree on that one, so, um, <laughs> yeah. So who do you think is to blame for the housing crisis? Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Everyone needs a place to live, so why is the market rigged against us? Maybe the value of a home is much more than what it costs. Can you think of any solution? It, all together, all of the buildings and properties that aren't being used in this country, and this was a few years back, would make a city the size of Leeds. So why don't we just renovate those and try and get them, get people in the, what we've got? I think this 95% mortgage they bought out recently, I, they, everyone makes out it's such a good idea, but then the more money you borrow, it's more money you pay back on interest. They tried this in Canada where they essentially taxed overseas buyers. So that has helped, I think. It's allowed more people locally to buy homes. Our wages, it has to reflect what we're spending. We're stuck in the system we are, I think, and I don't think there's any way we're getting out of it, so. Oh, so there's nothing we can do. I don't think there's any political will. Council houses, that's that's what we need. It's unregulated capitalism. Housing should be owned by private individuals and should be owned by the state. They'll build, but they'll only allot a certain amount for so social housing because they're still concerned more about their profits. And why is building more social housing important? For people that can't afford it, simply. If people need council housing, they should have like adequate housing rather than just like shitty ones. Do you think there needs to be more social housing? No, I think there needs to be less disparity, economical disparity. If you think about our economical system built as a triangle, how many people can be on top? Housing is a complicated issue, but that doesn't mean we have to accept things the way they are. People in their 30s and 40s are going to feel worse off than their parents, and it's already happening, to be honest. See ya, bye. Bye. See ya.